Dear students, through this video, we are going to consider another major area of uh, questions that you can expect for university examination. So it's about lift, a lift moving either upward or downward. So this is a case of dynamic equilibrium. A lift is moving, so it is moving either up or down. You might have experienced this by yourself. So when you are traveling in a lift and if the lift is moving really fast, you may feel that you are gaining weight. Okay, The floor is trying to pull you to, to it. This is because of this dynamic equilibrium consideration. So if the lift is moving really slow, you won't feel any difference at all. And the opposite of it, when the lift is moving downward, and if it is moving really fast, you may feel as if you are flying. If it is moving at a medium speed, you will feel your weight got reduced. All these things are because of the action of this dynamic equilibrium. When we are designing this floor of lift, this consideration has to be a major thing in designing. For example, in lift you might have seen like only 8 persons or 5 persons are permitted. So how you can decide how many persons should be there? It should be based on different factor and one of it is what we are going to discuss now. So when a few people are standing on the lift floor, okay, few people are standing on the lift floor and when this lift is moving really slow, the floor is going to be designed for the weight of this total weight of the person standing on it. But if it is a lift that moves really fast, okay, so this floor need to be designed for a higher value of weight and that's the what our problem is. Okay, so we can have one such problem. So let's check this one. A lift has an upward acceleration of 1.2 meter per second square. The lift is moving upward with an acceleration. So what force will be a man weighing 750 Newton exerts on the floor of the lift? Okay, that's a part one. So you need to calculate the reaction. And part two, the lift is moving downward with the same acceleration. What is the reaction in this case? And the third part says you need to calculate the acceleration so that the weight exerted on the floor will be 900 Newton. You can see that the weight of the person is 750 Newton. But we, in the third, third part, what we are going to deal with is a case when his weight is going to get increased by 900 Newton. It's not actually his weight that is getting increased. It is the weight experienced by the floor that is getting increased because of the motion. So let's try to solve this particular problem. So here basically we are having three cases. Okay, I'm dividing the different cases given in the problem. The case one, the lift is moving upward with an acceleration of 1.2 meter per second square. That is the first case. And in that case, we are supposed to calculate the weight exerted on the floor, which may, basically means that the reaction. Okay, I need to calculate the reaction. In case two, the lift is moving downward. Okay, lift is moving downward. So the acceleration is downward. And again, we are asked to calculate the reaction. And in the third case, the lift is moving upward with an acceleration which is unknown, such that the reaction exerted will be a minimum of 900 Newton. So these are the three different cases mentioned in this particular problem. So now let's see how to solve this. So the weight of the man okay, is given as uh, 750 Newton that is available with the problem. Now let's see this condition. So there is a lift compartment. Okay, A person is standing in the lift. and he is having a weight of 750 Newton acting downward and the point where he touches the floor the floor is going to exert a reaction okay that reaction will be equal to the force exerted by this particular person and the force depends upon one is his weight and the second one is the dynamic condition that is force times acceleration so this is the basic thing. So let's see how to solve these three different cases. 
So we are starting with case one. Okay. So in case one, the person is the okay. His weight seven fifty newton acting downward. Seven fifty newton acting downward. There is a reaction R. It is said that the lift is moving upward. Which means the acceleration is upward 1.2 meter per second square. Now with this information we can simply apply our D Lambert's principle which basically says that sigma fi net force in i direction is equal to m times ai where ai is the acceleration in the direction i. So I need to decide this i direction. So what I'm doing here I'm considering the i direction as this. This is my positive direction. Upward I am considering as positive. So now I am going to write the equation. So I can see the net force is caused by R and 750. R is acting upward hence it is positive. 750 downward okay, is equal to mass. Weight is 750 so mass is 750 by 9.81 and acceleration is 1.2 and it is in the positive direction. My assumed direction positive is upward. Acceleration is also in the upward direction hence it is positive. Now from this I can directly solve the value of R. R is equal to 750 times. Okay this is when it goes here it becomes positive. So 1 plus 1.2 by 9.81 and I am going to get the result as 800 and 41.74 Newton which is the answer of case 1 okay so there ends the case 1 now I'm going to case 2 it's a similar case the only difference is that the acceleration is downward so when the person was standing in the lift and when the lift was moving upward what we can observe is that even though the person is weighing 750 Newton 750 Newton the reaction or the force exerted on the floor is greater than his own weight that is what is happening when the lift is moving upward you might have felt so when you are traveling in a lift and the lift is suddenly going up you will feel as if you are just going to drop down to the floor that is this case because we are going to experience a value of our weight which is higher than our own weight okay now the case two: the lift is moving downward what happens then we will feel like we are just getting lifted up we are as if we are flying like if you are uh, uh, going in a ride like a giant wheel or something when the giant wheel is moving downward you might be feeling as if you are going to fly away that's the case here so let's see that case so there also the person is standing here and uh, his weight is acting downward 750 Newton okay and there's going to be a reaction R which is the unknown that we need to calculate and in here the lift is moving downward so the acceleration is downward 1.2 meter per second square so again I need to write the D'Alembert's equation so I need to have a sign convention so just for a change I am taking this as the positive sign convention okay downward I consider as positive so again sigma fi equal to mai so net force in the direction so downward I consider as positive so 750 is positive minus R as R is in the upward direction is equal to mass which is 750 by 9.81 times acceleration I assume downward as positive this is downward hence it is positive 1.2 so from this I can get R equal to 750 okay what I'm doing is I'm taking the R to the right side so this comes here into 1 minus 1.2 by 9.81 which is going to give us a value that is 658.26 so you can see here the weight of the man is 750 but the reaction what he is exerting on the floor or the force he is exerting on the floor is only 658 a value less than his own weight when the lift was moving down when the lift was moving up he was exerting a value which is higher than his weight okay now we are going to talk about the third case in the third case 
the reaction is given which is 900 newton and we are asked to calculate the acceleration here uh, by seeing this question itself we can find that the weight the reaction is larger than weight which means that the lift has to have an upward acceleration if the lift was having a downward acceleration the weight will reduce the reaction will reduce the reaction will increase only if the weight only if the acceleration is upward so let's consider that case also so that's the person okay his weight acting downward 750 newton and the reaction is acting upward r and we are to need to calculate the acceleration okay which is the when the one that we need to calculate and we know that if the reaction has to be higher than the weight it has to be an upward acceleration <clears throat> now we need to consider some sign convention and considering this as the sign convention as upward as positive so i'm going to write the dlm birds equation sigma fi is equal to mi so net force upward is positive which means r and we have the value of r r in this case is given as 900 newton okay so r is upward 750 is downward and uh, is equal to mass which is again 750 by 9.81 times acceleration acceleration is upward the assumed positive direction is upward hence it is positive a okay so i will get 900 minus 750 is equal to 750 by 9.81 times a on solving this, I will be getting the value of acceleration as, what is your guess? How this value is going to be? Is it going to be less than 1 by 2 or greater than 1 by 2? Of course, it has to be greater than 1 by 2, 1.2. Because when it was 1.2, the weight got increased up to a level 841. So if this value increases, automatically this reaction also increases. And when you solve this equation, you are going to get the value as 1.2. 962 meter per second square and that's the answer of case 3